At an altitude of 3,800 metres, visitors flock to admire the spectacle. It's here, among these pine trees, where the monarch butterflies form their colonies. But today, they're not going far due to the weather. Remember, the butterfly flies if there is sun. If there's no sun, it won't fly. The Rosario Sanctuary receives 60% of the migratory monarch butterflies arriving in Mexico. It is an essential refuge for preserving the species. But the butterflies' protectors sometimes put their lives at risk. We try to do the best we can, but yes, like any job, there's a risk. Yes, possibly. Possibly. I can't tell you more. In this state, plagued by insecurity, environmentalists are also targets of organized crime. In January 2020, Homero Gomez, the manager of Rosario Sanctuary, was found dead in disturbing circumstances. In Michoacán, the habitat of the monarch butterfly is threatened by increasing deforestation for avocado farming. So a few kilometers from the sanctuary, a village has decided to monitor its forests 24-7. It's a very difficult and risky job. There are a lot of people involved in illegal tree cutting and sometimes they come carrying weapons. Despite the risks involved, the whole community is trying to fight illegal logging and is planting new trees every year. Efforts which are now paying off. At the moment, we're seeing that we have monarch butterflies inland. And it's great because it reflects the work we're doing, the conservation of our forest. It's a source of pride. We should feel proud to have this opportunity. The monarch butterfly is also impacted from Canada to Mexico by the use of pesticides. Since the 1990s, the estimated decline in population of this species has been between 22 and 72 percent.